Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, we learned what are the table functions. In today's video, I will show you how to use them. This is our data model. We have one fact table, order table, and which is surrounded by four dimension tables, product, employee, supplier, and customer. Now say, I want to see which field is coming from which table. Right now, you can easily see this one from data model that okay supplier id is coming from supplier table or customer customer field is coming from customer table line cost price is coming from orders table but consider a case where you have an application with many tables and many fields then in that case it is not easy to find out the field from the data model in that case you can use this search tool and i can say line sales price and then it will tell me there is one field in order table if i will use something like that customer id one customer id is there in customer table and one customer id is there in order table so you can also use this one there are few options say like say i want to see customer id field then i will write customer id here and scroll down and select one by one all tables so i can see customer table it has got customer id field employee table hasn't got any any customer id field orders tables has got customer id field and product table don't have supplier table don't have but this is not the right way to find out which field exists in which table in that case you can create one table something like this and you have we have system field table and we have system field field you have to use dollar table and dollar field and it will give you all the tables and respective fields which are exists in those tables so now you can search from here and you can say customer id field is part of two different tables customer and orders but this information is available inside your application but say you want to see this information into a separate application say you have 10 applications and in 10 applications Three applications are using order tables, five applications using employee tables, seven applications using product tables, something like that. And you want to see by application, which table is there, how many number of rows are there, which are the fields exist there. Then you have to create a table which contains all this information. You can store it inside QVD and then you can load QVD to different application. I will show you how to do this. I will create another tab. First of all, I will create one variable and give it name number of tables equal to number of tables and I will trace it. Okay, and here I will say number of tables. So we are getting five tables. So now I will run a loop from say v table number one to our tables and i will say next v table number and here i will say trace dollar v table number and we'll write here v table number we'll see so we are getting one two three four and five we have five tables now i will get the table name here let v table name the way we have function field name we will also get table name here so the function is table name and i have to pass the number say i will pass one here and will say trace v table name equal to v table name then I will get my first table employee 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 five times because this loop is gonna run for five times so instead of one I will pass this v table number and this table number I will pass here and I will remove the first line so now I will get table number and table name dynamically 
So you can see we are getting four tables employee, order, product and supplier. Employee, order, product and supplier. But the first table is missing which is a customer table. Because the index of number of table is starting from 0 instead of 1. So I have to pass here 0 and here I have to use minus 1. So if we have 5 tables the loop will run from 0 to 4. Let's see now. So now we are getting exactly 5 tables with table number. Now I will create another variable. I will say name v number of fields equal to number of fields and here I will give my table name. So the table name I will pass it here dynamically and I will say trace v number of fields equal to my dollar sign expansion. So now you can see here customer table has got three fields employee table has got five fields order table has got 14 and so on so what i will do now the same for loop i will use it here and instead of v table number i will say v field number and i will run the loop from v number of fields minus one and will say v field number and i will trace it v field number equal to v field and we'll run it okay so so many lines are coming here what i will do right now i will only load first two tables and these three tables i will comment now i will load it so it will give us better idea so first the customer table is getting loaded there are three fields in the customer table and field 0 1 and 2 and then here employee table has got five fields and we are getting from 0 to for 4 now the way i got table name i will try to get the field name here so i will say let v field name equal to my syntax is this field name so that's I'm going to use here and my field number is coming dynamically from here and my table name is coming from my table name. So here the table name I have to pass like this and my field number and I will say and I will trace it and instead of this field number here. I will cut and paste it here and now we'll see how the output is so you can see we are getting customer ID customer but the first one zero is missing so the customer ID is the first field and customer is the second field customer ID is the first field customer is the second field so third field is missing because we have seen in previous video that field number index is starting from 1 not from 0 so I will make little bit changes here field number I will start it from 1 to number of fields please note down that when we have used the full loop for number of tables the index of click number of tables is starting from 0 but the index for number of fields is not starting from 0 it is starting from 1 so when I will reload this application now we will get exactly the information which we want. So now this information I will store dynamically in a table. So I will say table field and I will create a table here auto generate one and here I will first pass my table name. So I will say my table name as table name and I will say my field name which is coming from this as field name and now I will load it and we should have now one table which is called as a table field and in that table 
we should have information of table name and field name. Now I can store this table into my into a QVD for further use. So I will select this one. I will store it the same place and I will give name something like this table field. Okay. If this QVD is coming from say more than one application, then you have to give different name so that you can combine them together. So it is better to store them with application name. So I will use one variable here. Let v document title equal to document title. I will trace my document title and I will say exit script here and we will see what document title is coming. Document title is sales analysis which is exactly the name of my application. So now I will use this document title to store my QVD something like that. So now when I load this application and I will drop it because I don't want this one. Okay, uh, I will not drop right now. I will load it now and now I should have one table, one QVD named as a table field. So you can see we have the last QVD table field sales analysis dot QVD. Now say you also want to know the number of records inside the table. Then what you can do here is with the table name I will remove this now trace statement I don't want. So now what I will do I will create because we already have table name number of fields I will create another variable let v total rows equal to number of rows number of rows and I will pass my same parameter here and I will create another table I will say table data and I will say load document title as application name then I will say v table name as table name and we'll see number of fields and the last one is total rows in the table and I will say auto generate one it is good to use the same here as well and So that when I will load these two tables, so we can join this data by application name and table name. Now the same I will do here as well. I will say table data and this and here I will store by table data. So now I should have two tables and both of them are now creating synthetic key that's fine because we are going to drop them from here and and if I will create another two tables data from both the tables then I will get information something like this and another table and this is showing us information about field and table both okay why I have created synthetic key here is because when you have same table name coming from different application you can easily identify that which table name is coming from which application because it could be possible that okay let me load all tables now and we'll see at the front end that 
we have order table is also coming I will sort this one by application name and table name and field name okay so say order table here you have five years of data and in another application you are only loading current month data or like say YTD data so in that case the number of rows will be different so you can easily identify by selecting application name and table name so what you have to do in that case is you have to create a concatenated field which is a key, key field for both the table which is application name and table name so this way you can create queries having information of tables and fields from particular applications and you can create this type of QD for different different applications and then load inside another application to do the analysis. It is always a best approach to drop all your variables which you have created at the back end and you are not going to use at the front end. So I will drop them all. So these are the variables I have created. V table number then number of tables document title and then say these three variables and I will say let this equal to null and I will drop them all of them when you are assigning value equal to null that means you are dropping them I will reload the script and at the front end I will go and delete them from the variable overview window two more left field number and field name so that's we have created here I will delete them from here as well so next time when you reload this application this variable will not come back here you can see from this variable window hope you like this video please do subscribe and comment thanks and have a great day